Hey. Yeah. Hey. Up in here. Up in this thing. Hey man. Here, Mike. What you what you got for him, Mike? Hey man, I just I know I'm I'm gonna rock out with that in a minute, but I just want everybody to know in the whole entire world that if you got kids. It don't matter how you raise them. When they get at a certain age, they're going to do whatever they want to do. <laughs> so it's important you know that and you don't take uh, and, and blame yourself. Because, man, a lot of times it'd be like multiple kids raised in the same house. And you're like, what the hell are they doing? We ain't mm. raised them to do that. But that's just because that's just how it works. Mm. It's just people are people at a certain point. And you can control as much as you can, but hopefully they get themselves in line. So it's not your fault is what I'm here to tell you. They they say it, it like uh, the kids are a reflection of what you taught them, who you actually are, and then their friends is like the other 50%. <laughs> like the circle of people that they came up with and those influences be the other 50%. Be like, well, shit, I can't pick their friends for them. Shit. You just, Man, you're just you just trying to give them the right tools to pick the right friends. That's it. Hey, man, you just scared me with something you just said, man. So you said that <laughs> the kids, are, a percentage of it is who you actually are. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. There's what you tell them <laughs> and then how you show up. Hey, man, that's wild, man, because <sighs> I got a kid, <laughs> man. I got a kid that's doing, uh, living an interesting life and... Uh, yeah, man, as it's developing, I'm like, I know where he's getting this from, but I'm like, how is he getting this? <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you stay a mystery and I don't know, man, I guess it's in the blood. Hey, just, man, welcome, everybody. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Episode number 81 of Black D University here with Mikey. Mike <laughs> E. Winfield, Lance Woods, and B. T. Kingsley. <laughs> I felt it. Uh, well, I hope they do too, man. You know, uh, you funny. know, man. Yeah. I hope they do too, man. I don't know. <laughs> That COVID fog, something else, bro. Yo, man, it's wild, man. It's wild. It's wild, man. <laughs> Make you forget your own name, man. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> no, man, no, no. On on that one, uh, I just need people to know the separation. Because there's mm. a lot of Mikeys out there. And I know, like, grown people feel uncomfortable calling another dude Mikey. So I let them know that it's Mike E. So when they say it, then it's like, it's cool. But it's just really just Mike. It's just that simple. Right, right. You know, but you know, you gotta clear things up, man, for people. Yeah, man, it's the, but the E make it special. It does, man. It rolls differently, right? Yeah, right, right. You'll be like, nah, but do you know Mike E? Yeah, Winfield. Yeah, it's Mike E. Winfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. It lands. It lands differently. You know, man. What yeah. y'all been doing, man? What's... It's like it's like it's like it's so we sauce. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not really, but yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, so right. we so us. we had this conversation before. I was thinking it was like Samuel L. Jackson, but I mean, okay, it's so it's us. So it's mm -hmm. us. <laughs> yeah, it's not many of us. Oh, because y'all said that's right. Y'all tried to say it was soy soy sauce. That was Mike. He was talking that Chinese shit. He's saying soy sauce. I'm like, no, it's soy sauce. That's not and how I remember it at all. Soy sauce, though, man. Right. Right. Yeah, soy sauce. Y'all rock with that, though? Y'all rock with the... With soy sauce? Yeah. Oh, I love soy sauce. I do, too, man. But you know what? I like the packages better than the bottle. And I know it's unhealthy when I'm doing it. But yeah, like, it, it's definitely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know why, though. It's one in particular, too, man. It's this one called Lucky. You got to go to the hood spots. And it's called Lucky. So Soy sauce. What did you say? What? I can't even say that. I can't even <laughs> attempt to approach it that way. You can't say soy sauce? I can't. I can't. What, it's just, what it's just soy. I, it's soy sauce. Soy sauce? Soy sauce. <laughs> so as I said, soy sauce. Right. Hey, man, y'all use the whole package? 
Yo, like, I, don't, I don't use soy sauce. You know, my birthday coming up, man. I just uh, <laughs> use like. <laughs> you put those two things together. Yeah, man. I, I, sometimes I just use half the package and that, that'd be enough. <laughs> that's what you want for your birthday? Uh, it was soy hey, sauce. Man. That's what it sounds like. It might be. It might be, man. That's a good, a great question, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all want stuff for your birthday still? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a tattoo on my birthday in Chinese letters. I'm gonna get soy sauce. Oh yeah, soy sauce. Yeah, you get so. I want an Asian person to do it to them. Like, what you want? Black like, soy sauce. They be like, no, the tattoo. I'm like, no, write it in Chinese calligraphy for, for Lee. They're just gonna draw the package. <laughs> draw the package. <laughs> and put soy sauce on it. I, yeah, what I got. Yeah, man, I love birthday gifts still. Oh yeah, what I you mean, like? What you got I, recently? In the past five years. Oh, it'd be like uh sexual shoes, oh good shoes, cologne, candle, little clothes, jacket, shirt. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to think. I feel like oh man, so see last man, five hey, man. years. Hey Lance, do you up? show the other girls that bought you stuff the ones that the other ones bought? Sometimes <laughs> I have before. <laughs> Yeah, I have before now nah, because you gotta know. Sometimes you gotta have a little competition to let you know, like, yo, this is what's going on. Yeah, they need to step their gifts up. This these socks ain't gonna cut it, baby. <laughs> she just bought me some property. <laughs> yeah, like bitch, I I own the land you live on now. <laughs> so this is like That's a funny story, right? <laughs> so this is this is twenty. Man, 18, 17, since 2017. So I started I started doing work with the Kings in 2018. So this is the season opener of 2017. Mm. Um, season opener, first game, or at least the home opener. But it was the first game in the Golden One in, in the new arena. Nice. First game ever in there. Oh, the first game ever, not the first game for them. Got you. First game ever, and obviously first game of the year and all that, right? Yeah. So, so the girls were at the time, she's like, yo, I got you tickets to the game for your birthday. We're going to go to the game for your birthday. So, oh, that's, that's really nice. Yes. Um, And I'm like, all right, cool. So, we go to the game, Um, and I ain't look at this. I'm like, yo, I'm just happy, man. Hey, thank you. So, we go on, and I go in the arena. I'm like, yo, this is nice. You look good in here. So we're going to our seats and say, no, we got to go up a little higher. I said, okay, cool. I don't know, we got to go a little higher. I mean, it's still the Kings gang. Yeah, it's all and, good. But, nigga, we were so high up, we was damn near at the old arena. Damn. <laughs> you, you said you sat on the roof? Nigga, I, I thought I was sting. So I'm sitting in that bitch like a retired <laughs> jersey. <laughs> nigga, I'm looking down. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking I don't down get how ridiculous that reference is. He's not talking about the rock and roll nigga. He's talking about the wrestler. <laughs> Yo, he's talking about uh, what's his name, Michaels. He's talking about Shawn Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga saying stink when he used to do the crow makeup. That nigga used to sit <laughs> when he was in WCW. He used to be just standing in the rafters. I thought you were talking about the dude that climbed up and um all right, moving on. Now that was Owen Hart. Rest in peace. Oh yeah. Wow. Keep going. <laughs> so uh so yeah, and, and she was like like just so happy about these tickets. And and I there was we had a good time. And I just remember because now when I go to the game, it's a totally different experience. And I, I I don't even I I could never go back up there. Yeah, yeah. Do you it's, even it's tell scary her? up there. Yeah, it is, man. You won't fall. You off the balcony. Yeah, and and for some reason, Golden One is steep. Mm. So when you up there, that shit don't feel safe all the way. Nigga, this how Sting used to enter the ring. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I've been up there. I know what you're talking about when it don't feel safe, like. You want to cheer for him, but you don't want to get too close to the edge, man. Yeah. Like somebody come by with a hot dog, man. Boom, this it's a wrap. This <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's funny. Yeah, man. 
So that that was a yeah, last five years, that was 2017. Yeah. That's still so, a great that's still like she, was that was a great team. heart to like say, you know, I know he loves basketball. I'm gonna take him to the top of the arena. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a rooftop day. But <laughs> Now it was crazy because <laughs> even that night, so I didn't know that was that was the first time Demarcus Cousins that did the Boogie Comedy Slam. Mm. So that that game was in the beginning of October, and he was doing the Boogie Comedy Slam at like around All Star Weekend. Mm. Man, hell of yeah, 20, man! Of twenty eighteen, he ended up getting traded. That's when he ended up getting traded that All Star game. Mm in 2018 so that same season mm. but the funny thing was because you know tony was telling me like yo i'm doing this boogie comedy jam that he didn't even really know what it was but i had already knew bobby jackson so after the game she wanted to take like some pictures on the court and bobby was like yeah come on so then bobby was like yo just leave the stadium with me we're gonna go out the the um the tunnel exit did she get to come too or you had to leave her upstairs Nah, she can't. <laughs> she can't. But you, you know, you know what, you know what. Sometimes when you like around people and they do stuff, and you be like, "Oh, they're not gonna last." Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, this, 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 this ain't gonna last. So, um, but he was telling me about the the comedy show. I had never met Demarcus Cousins in my life, but I seen him. I just walked up on him after a loss. Oh wow! Hmm. It wasn't was his like, fault though. Yeah, he probably he probably had 22 and 16, six assists or something. I was like, hey, bro, hey, I'm laying towards, I, I'm a comedian out here. I heard you was doing a comedy show, man. How do I be a part of it? And he, I think he was so, like, caught off guard. Like, he was like, talk to him right there, which was his manager at the time, mm. or I think still is, this dude named Andrew. Andrew was like, yeah, bro, called me and took all the information and all of that. And and I texted him, and, and he didn't really reply to the text. About the show, I, I ended up having to go to court in Washington, so I couldn't even come to the show. Mm. But DeMarcus gets traded that All-Star weekend, that All-Star game. You remember when DeMarcus got traded? It was the post-game of the All-Star game, mm. and somebody came and whispered to him that he just got traded to New Orleans. And mm. the All-Star game was in New Orleans that year. Right, right. <laughs> they were like, nigga, don't pack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because you remember DeMarcus answered the, he like, some, 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 so and then DeMarcus was like, oh, yeah, I love it here in New Orleans, man. This is a great city. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just something like that. But when DeMarcus got traded, I had made this video. And I I feel like it was a year ago, yesterday or the day before, because it popped up in the Facebook memories. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. So it was in the past. It might have even been today. If it wasn't today, it was two days ago. Five years ago, yeah. or four four years ago, yeah. Anyway, the point is, when I made that Demarcus video, Andrew, the same dude, sent me this long message like, "Bro, if you never need anything Demarcus related, let me know." It was like if Demarcus is playing in a game, if you need tickets, I got you. Mm. And he said, "If it ain't on the wood, it ain't no good." That's how they, <laughs> that's how they talk. <laughs> they don't even make it. if you're not sitting courtside why are you here Yeah. if it ain't in the wood it ain't no good pause I like that so um, that's when you left old girl long story short those tickets wasn't on the wood nah <laughs> I'm it was not saying there, they wasn't no good it was but. up there next to Sting <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, this, a, they make it fun up there. Anytime somebody does a wrestling reference, it's so random, bro. Oh, stick it says Sting, bro. Hey, man, they got a lot of stuff at the very, very, very top, and they make it real fun and exciting. Like, there's a bar, there's like a little dancing spot. They do all that because you can't see the game from there. So, <laughs> man, they want you to really enjoy yourself if you got they like try to distract you. Yeah, all hey, the bro, good foods up there. Right. Hey, if you ever sit courtside at a game. It's really difficult to go back. You don't even know how many restaurants is in the arena that you only have access to if you are on the court, like courtside. 
So they'll say the game start at seven, right? Mm. They'll say, okay, well, we're going to get there about five, five thirty, so we can go eat. But they're not talking about nachos and hot dogs. Yeah, It's like a real steakhouse inside the arena. Yeah, that's, like, that's where the players eat from. Yeah. yeah. And the owners. It's, yeah, it's like all all of the stuff that like that you would see and so on, you'd be like, uh, I don't know about that. It's like that kind of food. Or you can just have a burger in you mean there. Like escargot. Like a, yeah, all that kind of stuff. I've sat uh at a Clippers game. I sat like it wasn't it wasn't the floor, but it's that very first section behind yeah. the basket. Oh, uh, like maybe four seats up. And at another Clippers game, I sat one row behind floor seats. So the floor seats, walkway, uh, me. But but, but I, I brought up both those because you had to come in the other entrance. You had to come in on the floor entrance. And that entr- is like a totally different entrance. It's a totally different experience. The players literally be right there. Um, I remember because I had because they were playing the Lakers, obviously, because I wouldn't just be in no fucking Clippers game. That's weird. Um, <laughs> unless somebody like if somebody I fuck with uh, say hey, you want to go to the game, I'll probably pull up. But even then, it was at a it was at a what's the name game, and I had uh the big baller brand on and Lonzo was playing. Of course you did. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Because because it was a Clippers game, I didn't want to be so overt to just wear Lakers. Cause it was like somebody else had invited me and it was a Clippers, whatever, whatever it was a Clippers home game. So then I was just like, but when I saw Lonzo, I was like, Hey man, was like, oh shit. And then I got a picture with the granddad. That's how I know I'm really in the family and shit. A word. Yeah, I got a picture with, <laughs> yeah, the, I like that. With LeVar daddy. Whenever you hear BT say, I got a picture with, it's always funny. This nigga don't be taking pictures. I forgot. Him. I haven't told you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how do we transition this? Hey man, we gonna jump into that. I just, I just had one little smidget of an observation, and uh, and then I want to jump into that because we was on gifts, and I was trying to think about this man. I don't know if y'all ever had like a a, a main relationship, mm. and then you had. I just want to know how people navigate this. Let's say you have a main relationship, but then you have like side chicks, right? What happened when they buy you a gift? Like, cause you can't really bring it home, can you? Yes. How? Yeah. You could have bought it yourself. Oh yeah, you bought yourself some roses, and you bought yourself <laughs> a cuddly bear. <laughs> any any woman who buys me roses doesn't know me, and that's why she's, and that's why she ain't in the house. <laughs> Side chicks buy really dope gifts. Absolutely, they buy. They actually buy better gifts than probably your main chick. One hundred percent. I buy you some shit like a computer. <laughs> I agree, man. Because I think after a while, your main chick stop buying you gifts. She's just like, yo, I'm getting you dinner and. <laughs> You know, I do all this other stuff. So yeah. the side one's probably like, yo, you want leather pants? Like, uh, yeah. It just happened to have a sale at Mason. Maybe I just happened to buy me some leather pants. But okay. in, okay, so, so full, uh, we we was having the conversations <laughs> about just like the trends in comedy or whatever, like Boogie taking over, um, doing a comedy show is crazy as hell because he's not a comic, but some of the big, moments in comedy have been from people that aren't comics right so we ain't gonna keep harping on this ti thing but nigga let's i just want to address this right i just want to have a conversation like just like industry like trends like niggas in other spaces and all the other shit let's listen ti do comedy right i think it's weird that there's a disconnect for the fact that it's T.I. Let's not ever, like for me personally, I am not in the world where I'm not a T.I. fan, baby. I'm a T.I. fan, okay? I love the King album. I think Urban Legend is his best work. Paper, uh, paper, uh, almost paper trail. Paper, Keep going. paper trails was He's about to say Paper Soldiers with T.I. and yeah, Kevin Hart. A bunch of shit. <laughs> um, but you know what I'm saying? I will, I, 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 I'm a T.I. fan, bro. Mm-hmm. This policing that is happening where people are like, this person shouldn't start comedy or this person should or this person can't do comedy and this person can, it's a little ridiculous because the way that you do comedy is only one way to do comedy. You got to do comedy tomorrow. 
there will be some nigga in some city that tries his first open mic for the first time. And he's only going to do comedy about a year and a half. But his friend, who just went with him, is probably going to be doing this shit for the next 30 years. <laughs> and they had no intentions on doing it. But that nigga going to be in the business. His boy's going to give up. He's going to quit. He's going to fucking lose his whole family within the first year and a half from staying out late. It's not going to work out. If we're going to police niggas not being able to do comedy, I want to police the niggas that are doing comedy horribly. <laughs> if that's the case if if it's, if that's the case that you can't do comedy because you got some fame or some money then let's get all the terrible niggas out if that's the case let's get all the terrible niggas out let's get out all the niggas who have been doing comedy for a long time but refuse to add any new material huh how about we get them the fuck out eliminate it <laughs> Let's In the go. words of Tangerine, <laughs> elimination. <laughs> let's, get, let's get let's get them the fuck out of here. Uh, and since we since we policing it, if you're gonna do comedy, bro, there's only one way to do it, and it's just to do it. And it's like I don't care who you are, I don't care how long you've been around, I don't care how much charisma or, or swag. I don't have none of that shit has to do with comedy. Comedy kind of polices itself. You have to love it to even ever be good. Cause you gotta go through the bullshit, right? You gotta go through all the the fuck shit to even sustain the abuse, nigga. It's like this shit is a abusive relationship. So Ti, uh, Instagram people, niggas that just started, niggas that's been doing it forever. Dave Chappelle, me, you, Mike Lance, like nigga, everybody who does comedy gonna have to go through the rough nights and the good nights to be fucking good. It just is what it is. And there's really no reason to ever like to be all weird about it outside of that. Now, within that, still the T.I. thing. Nigga, this nigga performed at the goddamn Laugh Factory. Yeah, fine. He did. He did. The set was cool. It was great. What, what, who gives a fuck about that? Leave this T.I., bro. It's very hard for me not to ask niggas for pictures. But we've all been in this business long enough to know on some industry shit, we're technically supposed to be peers. Go. You said it's hard for you not to ask niggas for pictures. Or is it hard for you to ask niggas for pictures? Oh, it's it's hard for me. Oh, yeah, I I did a double negative there. Fuck books. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's hard for me to ask niggas for pictures, right? Okay. Because there's a there's one part that I, I take that back. It's not it's not totally difficult, but there are some etiquette things, right? Number one, if you believe that you are a star, and I am, and we are, then there's a world where it's like it's like a peer thing. It's like I'll get a a a, a picture with you at the appropriate time. At some point in time, we're on set together, some show together. At some point in time, we'll cross paths. Right, I'm not a civilian. I don't want to be the nigga like, oh man, can I take a photo, please? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like a hard line in the sand for comedians. And at this point, Ti is a comedian. Okay, the nigga just got off stage. And then also just like on industry shit, is what's saying. So I see this nigga. I'm like, you know what? I'm cool, bro. Real nigga, fly shit. Some bitches in here. On a night you performed or a night you just there? I'm just there. I just come in. It's some it's some it's some it's a lot of it's a lot going on because TI is performing and the word got out, so it's super duper packed, right? Shout out to all the comedians that got to go up. It was even more packed than that, right? Not asking for no picture. Thug life. Thug life. Not doing it, baby. I let it ride. As I continue to go into Chocolate Sundays, there's a booth where Lonnie and fucking uh and and the producers and sometimes the comics or special guests sit, right? And as I'm walking past this booth and I look down, Usher's sitting there. Usher Raymond or Usher um Wilson or something. Usher Raymond. Damn. Talking about the Usher for the club. Yeah, they found love in the club. Mike. The the my way dude. No mask, no weird flat top haircut, no shag in the back, Damn. just 
Just, just original Usher, nigga. The, the my way Usher. You chain on. What did he have Usher bucks? <laughs> he paid. He paid the Usher bucks, and it was a chick that was way too old for him to sit next to him. <laughs> okay, keep talking. I like this. Now, How mind you, she? I'm a I'm a R and B dude, probably at heart. I'm also a very huge Usher fan. Right, which is always weird. It's always weird being a fan of of R and B music because it's like you can't really like. I, I definitely don't want to ask this nigga for a picture. I don't want to ask uh, Ti because I know this nigga's a street nigga, and I don't want to look like a, a lame over Jamo. And he now he a comic, so he's off limit. And I don't want to ask this nigga because. He don't even really do shows for me. He be taking his shirt off for chicks, and I, that's why I appreciate him. But that has nothing to do with how much pussy I've got to seduction, nigga. I've got so much. Never forget. Oh. Hey, man, is, why are you doing this? Is it a cool way to ask? I don't to know. To ask if, for the picture? Yeah, it's like, is it a cool way? You just pull the phone out? Do you like, hey, like, is it a, like a, you know, I I think it's I think the only time that it might be okay is if the picture thing has already started. If you see them kind of already like grabbing pics, then yeah. it's not as weird. You like third in line, but he just enjoying the show. Yeah, yeah, right. So I gotta stop him to hey hey excuse me, but I know you you know me. I'm, hey, I'm here all the time, but I show like a picture. Mike, I don't ask. Hell yeah. Thug I life. It on, bro. <laughs> this is this is toxic masculinity. This is where it started making sense to me. I was like, oh shit, I'm holding in my feelings. This is toxic masculinity. Like I go up the stairs and TI is a new comic. Well, what happens with new comics? When you're a new comic, you invite people out to come see you do comedy, right? But TI's friends are TI's friends. Nigga, I get upstairs. And I see Nelly. Now, for a lot of people, this ain't really shit for them. You know what I mean? You said Nelly? Nigga, E-I-E-I, -E -I, underlay, underlay is in here. Nelly, um, <laughs> Nelly, no, no last name, Nelly. No, yeah, no last name. Not for Tato, the real one. You know, you talking about Don Nelson. No, 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 no. I'm talking country grammar. Gamma or grammar? Grammar and, and, and gamma girl by the cheeks for the tip drill. Hey. You talking about Nelly who just had the sex tape? This is pre-sex tape. Nelly got okay. a sex tape? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or it's a suck tape. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is pre-sex tape. Damn. I see. I see Nelly, and now I feel I feel like I've met Nelly before. I feel like I've met him in passing before. I don't know why. You seen the suck tape. No, 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 no. This I feel is like I know that nigga now, too. I didn't want to. <laughs> you look for it, or did you accidentally see it on the timeline? It's on the Twitter, bro. You scroll Twitter, bro. Everything is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I see, so I see this nigga. I'm like, all right, man. I bypass. I'm like, all right, shit. They go, they go fucking Nelly. All right, cool. Nigga, in the, in the booth with Nelly is fucking Jermaine Dupree. Huge 1472 fan and fucking Cameron. Cameron. You talking about paid in full Cameron. Nigga, I bro, I've been dipset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you go back to episode, I don't know, nigga, 64. I'm pretty sure I said Dipset won that battle. I'm pretty sure, nigga. <laughs> no, you did. Oh, I'm you, positive. You, you had him over the locks. <laughs> yeah, you did. I'm pretty sure I did. And nigga, I, at this point in time, bro, you're asking me a lot, fam. You asking me a lot to not, nigga, nigga, that's a lot, bro. You asking me to not ask for no photos. My whole goddamn childhood is up here, nigga. This is a lot, bro. Because I'm B-sides of the album. I'm, yeah, EI is great. But I'm talking uh, Spider Man, uh, yeah. Uh, you dating and doing hits with Mariah Carey is great, but I'm talking all I like is them jazzy hoes. It's like, nigga, I'm deep cuts on these. The only niggas missing from this are Fifty and Trey songs, nigga. Them the only two niggas missing. Out the niggas, I'm just fans of like musically, right? 
Nigga, I'm standing, bro, subconsciously. Subconsciously, Mike, I take out my phone and I put that bitch on reverse camera. <laughs> I put that. Oh, shit. Goddamn 20 rappers in this bitch. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Yo, uh, yo, Mike muted, Tony. Nigga, uh, subconsciously, I put my phone, nigga, on like, see us? <laughs> and I'm, hold I'm holding this bitch like this, nigga, like I'm about to ask for the picture. But I don't want the nigga to know. It's open micers back here being cool, nigga. I can't be the nigga that sent off, hey, man, can we take some pictures? <laughs> I can't do it, bro. I can't do it, nigga. So, nigga, so it's a lot, bro. Tony. Hey, let me do an introduction. Hey y'all, yo, it's an extra voice here. It's Tony Roberts. The voice. I'm a whole person, nigga. What you... <laughs> <laughs> this ain't secret life pets, nigga. This is me. <laughs> I just walked in on I just walked in on George Floyd's uncle trying to explain why he can't keep <laughs> Bro, bro, it took everything. You told me you ain't never been in a situation where you wanted to take a picture with somebody and you just couldn't ask. Yeah, yeah. I Come on, like a, man. I felt like a groupie. Yeah, man. <laughs> and what the crazy part is, I ended up taking the picture with you with no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I this, this, he ain't one of the black teens. He's the original one. <laughs> <laughs> I did that for you, my nigga. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't <laughs> even. Nigga, I would ask you to draw me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> who? Who was it? Who? Who? Who's? Who's the person? A person that you was like, ah. Oh, Gladys Knight. That's mm. the one. Yeah. So that's Gladys. back before like phone cameras and stuff. You had like a real camera on you. You had a little frim, frim, frim. No, I had this nigga. No, I had a real camera. <laughs> you had a Polaroid? <laughs> it was, it was, I just met Carmel too. I did Apollo. I did a show at the Apollo and she came and she was at, she was one of the performers and I was back, we was down, downstairs. Everybody's going their separate ways and she was just standing there. I'm like, fuck, I can't ask her for a picture. What did she just say? No. Nigga, oh, well, oh, and you was with, you see? Because the lady was there. He was like, ah, I can't do it. I'm going to look crazy as fuck. Yeah. Not, 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 in front of, not in front of my new girl. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the end of y'all, bro. That might have been the end of y'all. She said yes or no. She be like, I can't. Uh -uh. Her friends be like, what happened to that nice, funny dude you was with? He couldn't even get a picture with Gladys Knight. Oh, saw ass, nigga. Oh, yeah, punk ass, sorry ass, punk ass. Sorry ass, rookie ass. Rookie head, chicken ass, <laughs> but I feel like I feel like it's a little different with asking a woman for a picture, especially like an elegant older woman like Gladys Knight. Yeah, she has so much presence. Her pop, just the the ambiance in the room changed when she got in the room. I'm like, oh my god, nigga, her hair beat. Uh, that's Gladys Knight. Yeah, she got that goddamn swoop on her head. Her hair cut like the uh, chicks on Ghostbusters one before they change. Ooh, now, you talking right. about? a picture and you just couldn't do it because of your of the maybe the outcome might be not what you think or the nerves or you just you hey, just so you so I just met one of the pips with 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 TI starting I'm a TI fan bro but with this nigga starting comedy I can't ask for the photo but this nigga did Chaka Sundays and Usher was there Jermaine Dupri was there Cameron was there Nelly was there. I was like nigga this is a lot bro like nigga I was I start <laughs> I was standing next to the niggas. I started sweating. I went and sat. I had to get away from them, nigga. I went and sat next to some chick. I said, like, hey, y'all, this is a lot, right? They was like, nah, it's fine. I was like, oh, y'all going to fucking stand me? <laughs> you ain't never heard the Sweat Suit album, bitch. You understand what the fuck is going on? You ain't never been Bird Gang. You know what? Never. You know what? He's not. If they didn't never seen you before, never met you, they probably thought you were just some customer. Exactly. If you had to went on stage for five minutes and got off, the picture is yours. Yeah, yeah. Now, now you feel different. Yeah, you say, oh, nah, you, as, as you can see, we're all very talented entertainers. <laughs> Let's take this picture, guys. Hey, man, that's when a comedian is not in his uniform. 
When we don't go on stage, man, we man. just like we just like the audience. And, and then, if if uh, B T if you went on stage, you you just said just what Lance said. Hey, we all celebrities here, so <laughs> right. I could go catch my bus. <laughs> <laughs> And number 39, they're going to wait all night. <laughs> so, so, yeah. buddy, nigga, this, nigga, this originally starts, nigga, with Dipset, nigga. This is all camera, nigga. <laughs> this is, this. it starts in Harlem, nigga. I'm in Harlem, I'm like, oh, man, I'm, nigga, this starts like this, bro. When I see this, nigga, I'm like this. I said, Cam, come on, baby. <laughs> I'm still holding on since 2006, baby. <laughs> Look, look at us. Nigga, you look like you just left the nativity scene. <laughs> Y'all go. I, hold on. So I ain't gonna hold you though, nigga. By the end of the uh so end of the night, nigga, where everybody's everybody's leaving, right? Right. I say, I say, yeah, man, you know. <laughs> uh I see Usher leave. I can't I can't ask Usher for the picture. It's just too much, bro. I, I can't do it, nigga. That nigga, I can't do it. Usher Lee, you know, I know Lee. it was like people was around them and shit. You you say you say what now? I know people were around them. Then they have some some friends and uh, some bitches and people. Yeah, just, yeah, but you you know that you know the lobby area of the factory, like the before you go in. I'm sitting in that area, and it's just me and like Tehran sitting there, and they're leaving. They're trying to leave before the show leave. So T I leave. I mean, appreciate it. J D leave, nigga. Last time I saw J D, I met him before, and I said, "Hey, man." I love the rap game. Nigga, the rap game is this show where he just teach little kids how to rap. I felt like a fucking molester, nigga. I was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nigga, like, no. Nah. <laughs> I love your music also. I'm just a supporter of shit that you do this. <laughs> <laughs> but I would try to clean it up, nigga. I was like, I love 1472, one of the best albums ever. Nigga. You like, oh, thank you. I said, woo. Yeah, man, I admire you for getting with uh, Janet Jackson. I didn't know she dated a moth. <laughs> <laughs> I think you never date a moth. A family, so, but everybody got their love for insects. <laughs> some people do incest. Some people do insects. But the point is, as long as you happy, long long as you happy, brother, I'm happy. So they go by the so on they on their way out. So then. The one nigga I won't see again is Cameron. So Cam's leaving. I said, Cam, hey, bro. I said, nigga, on dip set, bro. I didn't ask for the picture. I want some fucking credit, nigga, because I didn't ask. Because <laughs> I, I ain't want you to look at me like I was a fucking jerk, nigga, and snatch my scarf off my head. He was like, oh, no, nah, man, it's cool. You had the scarf on your head? Nigga, yes, nigga. I was did full you, guard, did, nigga. Did you just said to us, you said that to him? Yes, nigga. <laughs> I said, I said, <laughs> this nigga can't believe it. Nigga, I say, yo, man, I say, bro, dim set, bro. I didn't ask for the picture, man. I want some fucking credit. <laughs> I don't know, uh, said. It's cool, man. Grab the picture. I was like, nigga! <laughs> hey! <laughs> In my heart, I took the picture like this. In my stomach, they got like, ah! <laughs> and your hey, and your man, you was doing this to his face. <laughs> <laughs> he was a puppy. <laughs> oh, hey, hey! <sighs> One of the biggest keys to that picture is just a goddamn selfie. That's it. You know why it's a selfie? Because it ain't no way he's going to let somebody else fuck up the picture. He was not going to let somebody take the picture and it be blurry or something. Nah, no, nope, oh, I got it. Move. But look. I got it. Somebody, like I say, if somebody never seen you on stage and you just come up to them, you regular, right? Yes. So you went to the least, the ladder of the assholes. You went to the ladder one. Okay. Yeah. He, everybody going to be Hollywood or something, but he is the lowest one. He... Rappers usually go ahead and give you because because uh, he put he said later he was like he felt broke because them niggas Usher and 
fucking uh Usher T.I. was talking about basketball teams that he owned <laughs> and Nelly. So, so so he felt like the undercard too, nigga. <laughs> you caught him at his low point. <laughs> he said, oh my God, I got a fan. A Muslim. <laughs> sure, bud. <laughs> that was, no, that Muslim chick had a thick ass beard. The <laughs> nigga said, Cameron was feeling the same way you was feeling about Usher. Like, man, don't ask for the picture, man. You better than this, Cam. <laughs> nah, man. Look, Cam, you dipset. Look. Fuck that, Cam. Oh, shit. Hey, he thought they was going to walk in and and, and T.I. stop everybody. Look at, look at. <laughs> he thought T.I. going to stop in the hallway and look at you and go, hey, y'all, let's take a picture with let's, no, no, the traumatized the traumatized a picture with this. <laughs> <laughs> they don't stop and say, let's take a picture of him. Like, uh, yeah, man. So, hey, but besides Gladys Knight, Tony, is, was there ever like a dude that you was like, I don't want to ask this nigga for a picture? Gla- Danny Glover, but he had this Wendy Williams stuff on. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same person, so. He wasn't him. He wasn't himself that night. <laughs> no, uh, Michael Jackson. I went in the bookstore. He was in there. It was just me and him. It was a little bit as memorabilia, little memorabilia bookstores in L.A. Nigga, when I tell you, I walked in that bitch. Somebody told me he was in there. I didn't believe him. I went in there. First, it was an Asian dude with an umbrella on a sunny day, waiting for him to come out, right next to the door. So I walked in. <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> look, it's a big bodyguard, white dude, arms with a suit on. He say shit to me. So I just started walking and I seen Michael. So I started acting like I'm looking for a book. And I got 10 feet from this nigga. Not even 10, but eight feet. <laughs> he said, hello. And I just walked back. <laughs> Not even I didn't take a picture. I didn't even speak to this nigga. <laughs> 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 hey. I, I walked up like he said, strange and danger. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you, what do you say, Tony? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't happen to you wouldn't happen to be eleven, would you? <laughs> <laughs> That's my best MJ, y'all. <laughs> Tony, look MJ. good, man. How the diet been going, man? No, 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 man. Pictures, man. We're gonna get to the diet. I know we got some more on pictures, man. That happened to me. Yo, I had visited Cali, man, in like fifth, sixth grade. I went to a King something. Mm. Y'all ever remember a player named Walt Williams? Absolutely. Yeah. With the high socks. Okay, watch this. So, man, you know, I'm imagine how old you is in fifth grade, man. Right? You impressionable. You, you know, you you who you are in fifth grade. Yo, man, it's like halftime i'm in reach i go up to walt williams man like man it was shit this is an nba player look at this dude man he like six something you know that shit's impressive when you in fifth grade you like three eight you know <clears throat> so man this is and i'm like hey man can i get a picture and he goes after the game <laughs> i was like fuck walt williams man <laughs> I didn't come back after the game. I don't even want his picture. He wasn't even that dope. Like, man, how are you going to be on some after the game stuff? Yeah. And you ain't even like, they had Mitch Richmond, I think, at the time. Like, they had way better players. And you hitting me with some after the game. And you just like the fourth option, man. Like, you know, that's a, I don't think I asked for pictures after that. Yeah, I got, you got traumatized, man. Maybe you thought his baby mama sent you to get some child support. <laughs> it probably it looked like I was probably going to pick that up. Yeah, man. After the game. That, oh, the game. Well, yeah, loud. Like to the point where I looked around. I'm like, damn, everybody saw that. Hey, wait, you know, the game was already going on? No, man. It was halftime. Oh, them niggas was losing a lot. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't he was they like wasn't doing good. <laughs> niggas was down by 45. It was like, nigga, I go back after the game. Y'all still gonna be down, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. I enjoyed him because I, I was taking, I was gonna take the ice cube. He was performing. I'm like, oh shit! And I just did that. Um, 
the thing with Russell Simmons, when I mm. grabbed the mic, it just crashed the place and started doing stand up and mm. Snoop. Um, uh, Ice Cube was there with his son, and then there was a bunch of other celebrities. There, right? mm. <laughs> I wonder if you remember me from that, because I went and just stole the show, just fucked it. I didn't get no award, just some bullshit, started talking shit to everybody. So here it is a year later <laughs> from the time to join the crew. What's up, Ice Cube, man? Was everybody, didn't nobody come to him. He was up there inside getting ready. I just wandered around and seen him and his boys. That's a shit. Security ain't say shit to me, nothing. I'm like, fuck it. So I went over there. So what's up, man? Like, you about to get down, man. Get, get picked. So, yeah, come on. Come on. You homie. I said, all right. I went back there and dropped my phone. I went to pick up my phone out. Either nigga was gone. <laughs> 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 I got to hurry up. And I was just feeling like I just did this like a selfie and dropped that bitch. Oh, fuck. I looked down, nigga was gone. Like, like he did this and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he probably knocked that bitch out your hand. This nigga been That's practicing. That's what he did. Move. That no, nigga no. said, look, a butterfly. And fucking left. <laughs> he said, is that Smokey? <laughs> <laughs> is that Ezell? Yeah, y'all was, was on the cruise, right? Yeah. And then I was like near the front, you know, because I was on the cruise for the show, doing the shows. So I was VIP, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he he seen me in the front. He, I'm he doing. He going hard, dude. This is like two years ago. He going hard, like he's 23 years old, nigga. Really? That still goes hard. I don't know how he do it. Well, uh, he seen me in the front. He pointed at me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, whatever, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> a, you yeah. the nigga he did the God damn, I said y'all said it all. <laughs> <laughs> Used to be hard. Now you just wet and soft. That's what I'm saying. Straight out of impatience, nigga. <laughs> straight out of like impatience. Like straight bozos. It's like, hey, man, come on, bro. <laughs> talk about me. Oh, look at this nigga with an attitude. <laughs> <sighs> that was stupid as shit. Nah, man. How's, no. how's the diet going, man? You all sitting up over there and shit, man. You know what I'm man, saying? I'm about to go across the street and get... This nigga pulled out a cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's gluten free. Let me see the cake again. That's that nut and butt cake, right? That damn right it is. I can't believe you you blur out the spoon, but we see the <laughs> snitch cake. This nigga's the worst, the worst nigga on Dateline ever. <laughs> What's on it? What's on top of it? Is that cocaine? What is that on top of it? Hey, some man. This shit, this shit will have you, have you come Take back to happy the dark side, boy. Mm. It's, it's chocolate chips in it, too. Just like the damn. best thing that happiness. I'm on that. I'm on a, I'm going on a diet, but I got to eat all the bullshit in my fridge first. And then. <laughs> yeah, so it won't tempt you. Yeah, you got to get that shit out of here. I can't throw it away. I ain't got the guy, you know what I mean? You got to eat that shit. That's a waste of money. Always got that money, man. I'm trying to get Tony on my diet. What's up? What's up, Tony? I don't want to stop eating for a month. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, and that nigga had a fly on his face the other day. That nigga was so hungry. You <laughs> 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 gotta eat something. Eat, eat an idea. Anything. <laughs> 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 eat, eat a menu page. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, lick an envelope. <laughs> what up? <Yeah. laughs> mm, that's pretty good lick right a, there. Lick an envelope with nowhere to send something to. I'm doing this for flavor. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the post office. Hey, uh, hey I'm busy. Are y'all hiring? What position you design? Yeah. Oh, lick the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, adhesive is gluten free for you. That's what it's called, and and adhesive. Adhesive is it called adhesive? Adhesive, that's it. Hey, yeah. So, so the word scent, as in smell, is yeah. the C silent or the S? Is the what silent? C or the S in the word scent? S C E N T, as you smell, is the scent, word, is the S silent or the C? I get it. I get it completely. That's a that's a brilliant question. I don't know. In the word the scent, the smell. Because it's, it's not it's not the S scent. or the C. It's he not, says, it's not scent. 
<laughs> but if you but if you take the S off, it's still sent. And if you keep yeah, the C so, on, it's still sent. And if you take the and you take the C away, oh, it's still sent. Is both of them helping it? It ain't sent. It ain't because <laughs> S E N T is literally sent. It's sent a letter, and C E N T yeah. is changed. It's, it's a penny. Yeah. Yeah, so in the words of Mitch Hedberg, Pooh is the real hero here. <laughs> <laughs> so look at this. They both not silent. So yeah. this again. No, no. If the S is there, the C can't talk at all. Or it should be scared. They scared. Mm. Some of them, somebody got to be quiet. One of them got to be quiet, so both of them can have an S sound. The C oh, can C sound. The, the C can talk, but the C can't be doing S shit while you're there. Exactly, but he shouldn't be shouldn't be that there if he can't talk. He can't he can't wear the the because C can be cat to the motherfucker, but that's not how you showed well, up somebody, today. Somebody the, told them I got a job for y'all. When you get there, you ain't gonna be doing shit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I just just a, just a, a job gonna last forever. But you'll never do nothing. So it's the C. The C silent. So you're gonna be the president. No, the shit burn. He raises. Okay. The, okay, I think the C is silent. But the oh, C Oh no, man. Silent. But look, if the no, C I'm is convinced. Silent, like what no. if the C the C got priority in the alphabet? So what the if C that nigga pulled rank and he talked to the S like shut the fuck up, S? I got this shit. <laughs> the C, if the C don't help them at all, it's another word. It me, it's another meaning. Right. Vice versa, though, too, though. Exactly. I, I know, I know, I know some Crips, and they're not going to be okay with silencing that C. We started selling my health products. Where's the word? Where's where's the origin of the word, though? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. C the bully. C come number. C number three in the alphabet. He'll talk to S crazy as fuck. I said, nigga, you better take well, your pussy ass down there with T and shut the fuck up talking to me, nigga. I'm C, cuz. Well, one of the motherfuckers saying to the other, you really don't have shit to do for here, but I need you here so we can mean something. Mm -hmm. I need That's you here so they know, so they know I'm not coins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Messenger. <laughs> Yeah. So sit down and shut the fuck up. Let me be so we can I can you know we can make this happen. Cause I need this job. I think it's C, because C is picking up double duty and he ain't because he do this all the time. C pick up double duty all the time. He ain't got to talk. He do this for uh for scene too. Mm. Scent scent has this, yeah, you tripping. Yeah. Oh no, you saying scene like like movie scene. Yes. But without the S, is that still seen? Yeah. What it's is seen. What it's is something. S E N S E N E? That's a that's that's the name. <laughs> My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that's that's my daughter's name. Nigga, it's a name. <laughs> But without the S, the C is not gonna it's not gonna mean shit. C E N E, what the fuck is that? John Cena. Well, yeah, that's not the A. <laughs> what the fuck is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a second wrestling reference. <laughs> I'm on a roll, baby. That nigga been doing this whole podcast. <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy too, nigga? When um, because we had we had circled back around this the other day. Earlier, I said, "Is Ti mad that that niggas that comics be doing music? Like, do he ch cuss out Jamie Foxx and shit? Or like Eddie? Do you ever just walk up on Eddie and like, hey, man, what the fuck? Nah, is up with that? Hey, what's up hey, with bro. You? I think <laughs> I'm telling you, just overall, the fault of." T.I. doing comedy. I think it's cool and dope and all of that. But the idea that he would care how comics felt when comics be not just comics doing music, anybody just come into music. Absolutely. And and not even come into music. Like they gave Cardi B songwriter of the year. 
Mm. Yeah, but she ain't just here. Songwriter of the year. She fucked them. It's like, and y'all gonna tell me me doing comedy is a problem? <laughs> they come over here and they give them songwriter of the year. Nah, man, let me get my jokes off, man. Let me, me get my jokes off, bro. Kendall Jenner had his titties for eight months and he got woman of the year. <laughs> <laughs> he won woman of the year with, a, with some balls with hair around it. <laughs> I didn't see the balls, but I but I've been told. Yeah. He had his dick duct tick <laughs> right against his asshole between his legs and won woman of the year. But then nobody looked under the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Kanye did. That's why he's tripping. <laughs> Kanye has seen some things, man. Kanye has seen too much, bro. Oh, y'all y'all saw the documentary? Absolutely. First part. Episode no, one. You ain't seen it yet, though? Oh, I ain't into it. I don't give a fuck what he do. I, I ain't into it. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, I could have you could have named 100 other things on TV and he would have watched them before that Kanye documentary. And 99 of them could have been infomercials. <laughs> All infomercials, nigga. All infomercials. I, I I I look at the test for the Mergy broadcast system before I look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You watching the national anthem? <laughs> <laughs> that little eagle fly off in slow motion. <laughs> Yo, the second you say Tony. Did you see that Kanye documentary? That nigga <laughs> damn near said, what Kanye documentary? I remember, I just ran across, I remember it, but I think I meant to view Lance, didn't I? No. I said, he got a documentary, Kanye got a documentary about something. <laughs> But hey man, we all supposed to have a documentary, man. We all supposed to have one. Is when is yours coming out? I, I only brought it up because the nigga that, that filmed the whole thing up was a comedian. Oh yeah, Tony, you know you know Cootie? Yeah, I've been knowing him yeah, for years. He filmed I know he did in Chicago, first, yeah. He started a couple of videos for him. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's who done the documentary. That was years ago. He, he no, he was up when he did that back in the day. Tony, he's been filming the whole time, nigga. <laughs> yeah, he's been filming Kanye for 20 years. The day you met him till yesterday, nigga, he's been filming everything. <laughs> oh, shit. It was all that. I see, well, I remember a bunch of that shit. He's been filming yeah. all that shit. Yeah, that's a dude I didn't really care to take a picture with. I seen him a couple of times. One time was with Cootie. Mm. And uh, I didn't want to take a picture with him. I just didn't, he ain't my kind of. Celebrity guy. Well, he had a fucking mask on. That would have been awkward as fuck. It's <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, no, it was me and Kanye. Look. Yeah, yeah. That's how you're gonna prove it. Just like that. <laughs> but you know what's fucked up about that? Then I gotta figure out how to get my beanie exactly how I was before, <laughs> and I don't think I can do it. Took time. Yeah. It was, I thought it was perfectly symmetrical before, and now it just is what it is. If you close all your windows and close your door, you won't need your beanie. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get my hair did it. Oh. What do they do? What do they be doing? You need to go and get the, the uh, and then you drinking milk? Oh, that's water. It's water, man, I'm healthy, bro. Who told you that? <laughs> drinking water, bro. Washing my cake down with some water, man. <laughs> they say that worked. That nigga fat fucking that dude. <laughs> you nigga order. And we was in LA. That nigga order when he got with us after the uh, the show at Burbank. Yeah. They go order a big thing of wings. Start giving them away. <laughs> <laughs> I counted them too. I was like, oh, they go another hey, one. Get down. Go ahead, get down. You want? <laughs> hey, yo, we got that nigga. No, he just need a a, a, a a reason to get the wings. <laughs> Hey, this happened yesterday, BT. So we was at we was at um yard house. Mm. And um there's a yard house out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two. Hell yeah, it's a couple of them. Oh, 
Oh, that's when we was at too. We was at yard house then yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We was at yard house yesterday, and then my friends ordered some wings because they don't give a fuck about their health. Mm-hmm. And the wings, jump. you can't live around this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the wings, I guess, was big as shit. Mm. And then they was complaining like these wings is too big. And then they also listened to the show though. So my nigga was like, BT would get it. He's a connoisseur of wings. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. He said, niggas who really eat wings know you don't want no big ass chicken wings. No, okay. you I like them, I like I like them half wings, just a little bitty wing dings. Oh, just like that, one piece of it. I don't care about the whole triangle. Is that yeah. true? So BT, so so wings be too big? Yeah, if you that ain't the chicken you want. You want your your wings should be like 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 Tony saying like tiny or just that one piece. That motherfucker should fit in the palm of your hand. Nigga. <laughs> you don't want too much, and then you want to add 40 of them bitches, but you want 40 little ones. Yeah, yeah. They're like they tacos. Have, they be cooking albatrosses back there, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right. a little pterodactyl leg. Like a <laughs> <laughs> y'all you don't want the garden, man. Taco, nigga. You want a tiny taco. Yo, what y'all has got the garden, man. Y'all ain't fooling with the garden. Man, take your afro off. You, you get sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> they take it off. <laughs> don't put that what, what is it? What's garden? Y'all don't know about the garden. That's it. It's, it's, uh, it's meat substitute. And it's the same wings, but they uh, it's garden. I don't. I don't do nothing substitute. I just. I'll just go without. Yeah, that's what. That's what your house got. But you don't oh. eat food though, Lynch. Sometimes. What was the last sat down and had like this was a good ass meal? Meal on the plate. Not a snack. Not a. If, if you say a bag of goddamn dry mango, I'm gonna jump out this window. Lynch, <laughs> he don't do nothing substitute. Isn't porn a substitute? <laughs> I start watch. Well, I start watching porn probably at least. 12, 13 years ago. But you kept falling asleep and just put your pants down. <laughs> <laughs> and that, <laughs> hey, whoa. I kept falling asleep with my pants down and that's really awkward in church. <laughs> I got to hang up. <laughs> I can't be in this thing. <laughs> uh uh nah bro i'll be having like i have like quinoa with like some squash and mm. some green beans that's, yeah, the, that's meal? the meal huh that's it yeah i think on the dalai lama diet quinoa squash <laughs> green beans <laughs> he on that um <laughs> lands on that golden child diet. <laughs> 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 That nigga would pick up one rice. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, did you see the nigga eat a rice? <laughs> a strain. No, hmm. None for me, please. I <laughs> <laughs> didn't pick up that one rice. Mm, I'm stuffed. <laughs> what you eating, Tony? Apple slices? Oh, thing of fruit, brother. Oh, yeah. See, we, we on the see same shit, baby. Damn. What's that right out the lobby, huh? Yeah, yeah, man, bar for bar. This is, this is fruit cake. too. That nigga would eat a steak cake. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Bt the fuck with steak like that. No, I, I, I love steak, but I, you know I'm trying to eat healthy, so I don't do too much red meat. <laughs> Fried chicken is cool, but red meat this is too much. Man, I love that. I love that sprite thing you be doing. Oh uh, man, appreciate it, man. You are so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and it's what I mean, you must be, but you're doing it good. Yeah. I don't think you'd be trying. <laughs> I did, nigga. They was letting me be me to the motherfucker. <laughs> when I was, when I saw that nigga, when I saw that who was directing, I was like, oh, this nigga finna let me go crazy. You just see the shit they cut out. When you audition for a Two people like, get him the fuck out of here. And they go, no, no, that's what we need. This is asshole. What? Tony, you in New York? Hell yeah, man. 
Oh, Tony, you do seafood? Uh, I can live off seafood. I'll tell you something, bro. On 125th, there's a place called El Porto's. I know that place. Oh. Yeah. Get that shit broiled. Yeah. And they That's open, the too. They they stay open to about 450. Why 450? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's another place out there. It's called, I think it's called Soul Food Vegan. Yeah, buddy. That's the spot? That's the spot. Yeah. Is, isn't there one of those in the Bay, too? There's like a famous vegan spot in the Bay. I don't know if it's Soul Food, though. It's got to yeah. be. Fucking Ted Ray be asking me to bring this shit back with me. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if it's called Soul Food Vegan, but it is. It is one of those in the Bay. Yeah. It's another spot in New York too, Tony. It's called McDonald's. Mick. That's by across the street. McDonald's. Yeah. Hey, speaking of the Bay, real quick, uh, quick shout, y'all. I'm gonna be in the Bay May 2nd through the 5th. San Francisco punchline. Come ah, through. Come March. Through. Oh shit. What did I say? May. Damn. March 2nd through the fifth. I said May. You did. Damn. I think you put your visit lines in. No, man. That'll help. <laughs> what? <laughs> What you showing us, BT? That's the hold on. Oh. Where the cake at? You chasing with that? No, the cake's gone. The... Ain't no more cake. Well, it's some cupcakes. That's neither here. Ain't no more cake. No, he might tell us how many in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's the broccoli, shrimp, crab legs, corn. They weigh oh, all that, that shit and then they broil it. Nigga, I tear that shit up. Man, I miss seafood. Damn it. When I see people eating crab legs, I'm like, that shit don't look like it's worth it. Crab legs? It'd be a lot of cracking and snapping for a little piece of pussy. What about the king? What about the king crab legs? Uh, I don't care. I don't like none of them. I had crab once. I was like, it's a lot of work for a little bit of payoff. You missing it. You missing. Fuck that. I do the lobster. They got lobster. Oh, lobster kind of disgusting. What? Right. Yeah, man. Compared to crap. See, man, look at this. Let me just break it down. Man, I was raised in Baltimore, Chesapeake Bay. We had a bushel of crabs. And yo, man, it's not about the legs. It's about the body. And you dig into the body and you crack you it open. Crab back? No, man, they got it all. Lobster's <laughs> mediocre. Lobster's just, it just looked big because they put a higher price on it and all y'all fell for that. Y'all saw the higher price on lobster, so you're like, oh, it must taste better. But crab actually tastes better than lobster. But you just think it's more because there's they put a higher price tag. It's the same stuff they did with all these designer brands. They put made Gucci $500, so you just think it's better than FUBU. But it never was. Fuck the white man. Michael from Good Times? Look on the that's, that's, that's what we doing in unison. Forget the crab, man. They got, they got the food. The white man wants you. I, I, I eat crab more than I eat lobster. That's for sure. It tastes better. But crab back ain't what I'm going to. Yo, so wait, wait, I wait. like this part, nigga. That's the part right here. BT, much you eat? I mean, uh, what? what? He's about eating this food. I'm gonna choke. <laughs> Yo, that's the reason they got crab cakes and they don't have lobster cakes. Cause crab is better than lobster. But y'all that's, put... not that's not why. That's a, that hey, is that's, why. that's why I need to go, nigga. The Baltimore Comedy Factory, just so I can get the fucking seafood spot that they got, the Mo's. Cafe 1137. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's my boy. That shit's so Tony. That shit's so quick. No, that's just my nigga, man. That shit's salty though. That shit good as fuck, nigga. That nigga I tell you, I called. I was like, nigga, are y'all open? Nigga, I came from New York to get that shit. The nigga that picked my driver that picks me up, take me to the radio. Mm. The driver, um, he takes me over there right at the radio. I, I ask him out, what you what you want? You know what's on the menu? This shit's thick though. That shit's good. That shit good. They got a vegan spot too. It's good. With all the obey on it? No, they got yams. The dopest vegan spot is in Atlanta. <laughs> How about Slutty Vegan? I forgot the name of it. Remember about that pizza? 
Oh yeah. Yeah, Meat Lovers Pizza, dude. Had the biggest mm. God damn, that shit was dope. I saw that ice cube again. Damn, that shit was dope. <laughs> you still a fan. <laughs> after that nigga didn't take that picture. After that nigga, <laughs> after that nigga disappeared on your photo. <laughs> yeah, I never vanished like the genie nigga. I didn't even see him walk off. <laughs> All I smelled was dirty bandana. <laughs> <laughs> yay, yay. I know he was here. Is he one of your favorites? Yeah. That motherfucker's like the West Side LL, LL Cool J nigga. Mm. That nigga got hits. And he still performs like, like, he, like he young. Nigga, that's, that's the verses. LL need to go against Buster. Why you pick Buster instead of. Uh, because they keep Steve. trying to find somebody to battle Buster. It's LL. Because LL got a crazy stage performance. He's been known for that. He got the music. They've been around. Not, the same time. Going, so you don't perform it when you just, you don't be going all out performing with the verses, do you? Don't you just play the song? Not no more. Oh, they nigga, perform now. Concerts. They perform now. They do now concerts. it's like a big ass concert. Mm. And then they end that bitch with Flavor in Your Ear remix, dog. I'm telling you. I ain't figured this shit out. But, yeah. but for uh, him to go toe to toe with LL, he got to go back to what the group he was in. Leaders of New School. Yeah, he got, he got all leaders of New School. He got, he got he got nobody's been wanting to go against Buster. I think LL's a nigga. But the thing about Buster, man, he got some when he when he hit something, it hit hard. But he got a lot of hits that you don't that you don't know about. Yeah, LL singing everything on his album. Yeah, he got more hits publicly than uh. And the they only doing twenty. They only do twenty. Yeah. I went to him the other day. I was like, this is the battle right here. And and features. You start to pull up them features and you'd be like, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Ew, Buster. Exactly. Leave the girl rolling. <laughs> but, but that's also going to, he going to, but LL can split the crowd because he got all the chick songs for the chicks and shit. And both of them niggas got down off, uh, but Buster really set the tone of his skills from that. Look at me now. Mm, yeah. Oh, you talking about the Chris Brown shit? Yeah, we said bigger, 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 that's the best one. That was the best one. That was the best one. That shit was amazing. Oh, but, you know, oh yeah, it was the best one. Yeah, it was the best one. one. Not me. Not me. Yo, was LL Cool J the first Drake? No. Nah. It could have been. I could see a rap. Yeah, or well, when is Kane? It's on Big Daddy Kane? Yeah, he's before LL, right? Or are they it's about the same time? Oh, he's about he's a little before LL. I feel like Kane would Kane would be the first one. Yeah, like ladies, man, and but you, yeah, got, but, you but gotta remember. Though. Uh, You're talking about like harmonizing too. Yeah. No, nah, that's chameleon air. <laughs> man, fuck that! You crazy? You <laughs> <laughs> said he was singing. <laughs> hey, you know what, uh, Devin the dude. Hey, funny. <laughs> I think a name that died of oh, Nate, Nate Dog. Nate Dog, yeah. Mm. It should be him versus Millie Vanilli. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, you see, so look, y'all see All Star Weekend when they tried to do the NBA highlight versus? Yeah. You talking about and Allen I, and Tracy? It was Allen Iverson and Tracy McGrady. And I think that should be um, a prime example of why verses is verses and we should just leave it at what it is with music. Ain't no comedy verses. Ain't no basketball highlight verses. It, yeah. None, none of it is, it don't make no sense. It is That's not. How we make yeah. it make sense though. I can see, I can see, I can see a comedy versus. You put up a bunch of clips, one joke a piece or two jokes a piece. And keep watching it. So yeah, well, this one I was on Def Jam and check the set. Boom. I do one joke or two jokes and kill it. 
He said, that's funny, that's funny. And this one, I was on uh, such, I can see him do almost do comedy if they explain it, if they do it right, but not basketball or football or shit like that, no sports. I can, I can, I can see it. I just don't think it'll be good. It'll be like the, the music. The music is just, music is already better than anything when they really come down yeah. to the, you strip everything down to bare wood, music is going to stand. You know what stand. was the best, but you know, everybody's not going to be willing to get into the arena to do so is roast battles. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. For comics, like you remember what you and Dion Cole did on Instagram Live. Yeah, but well, every what if, what if we was in front of? Oh no, we got to be in front of the person. Do we, do we have to be in front of them, with them? I like to be in front oh, of. Them. Yeah, because oh, you you want to pick they, apart. They got a whole show about. It. Yeah, you want to pick apart what's happening right now in front of you. Yeah, not on vid like we doing video here. I want to do it there like that. I want to be in front of you. Everybody can. can can get out, get on, you know, virtually, and then we have a crowd around us. Period. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. we should make that happen. See who yeah. who, who want to do it. One thing about we tried this. It wasn't called the roasting thing, like like snapping. It was called snapping. But white people, the the part, the people that that, that you know got the checks, they didn't understand the snapping and shit. Mm. The closest you got to it was wilding out. Yeah. And that wasn't even, you know, we talking about the niggas show up and you show up, you pull out the hat. You're you doing this thing and you're just going at it a couple at a time on each other, back and forth. Wild out, they rehearse that shit. So mm. that, that ain't the same. But the, to white people, it's to the naked eye. A lot of people still think they're just winging that shit. Y'all ever watch that show, Your Mama? That was like white yeah. people did that. Yeah, yeah. outside, right? Yeah, it was outside. Or MTV, right? MTV, right. Yeah, to yeah. hear was on that shit. That was that was long ago. Yeah. So yeah, what, happened, on it? what they did was on that show, your mama, mm -hmm. they auditioned, they had a cattle car audition for some comics that, that know how to bag and they was bagging on each other. Right. These white people wrote it down, cast their own people, gave them our jokes. Oh my mm. god. Sounds sounds right. That's why it didn't last long. Everybody got a hold of it, and they go, "No, that's my shit." So it went through Hollywood. They say you got. It was one season. I tried to be. Yeah. They cut them off. They, no, I mean, you miss it. You're missing but, the flavor, man. Yeah, it was. You could tell this nigga can't. This nigga ain't even funny. Stand up. How are you gonna come up with that shit? Yeah. I heard about six of my shits on there. And they had. <laughs> they, had they had me in there. They would call my agent. Well, I had the little white lady, this old white lady, the old white man was my agent at the time. They called them and said, okay, we're gonna make a, can we keep him for the day? So they brought in like 11 people on me. And I had to snap on them. White. Oh man, they wrote all your stuff down. Man, they was recording everything. They was recording everything. You was, you was, you was snapping against a nigga who had a wire on. And it was two <laughs> niggas in an FBI truck listening to your <laughs> shit like this. With that goddamn tape rolling, <laughs> nigga, it was a stakeout on your jokes, nigga. Hey, what did he say? I don't get it. Uh, uh, Cole, Cole Green, tell him to be that last. <laughs> <laughs> you said I look like a what? <laughs> look, you roasting the nigga. He he listening to you like this. <laughs> Talking to my chest. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Tell it to my face. <laughs> They got the wire in here. <laughs> nah, but they, they got the one. What was the one that um the newer one? Was you it called about, Roast Battle? You talking about Roast Me or you talking about the one on the That's Roast the Battle roast on TV? That's roast Battle on TV. They do the poetry. What's that? You know how they oh, roast they when they be really going like hoods, like crunk dancing. But it be nigga real hood niggas, and they be talking and talking. You think that he got his mom's car? He bought oh, him. Are you talking? He talking about the battle rap? The battle rap. Yeah. <laughs> As I said, they be rapping. Oh, I know poetry. <laughs> poetry. Hey, <laughs> 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 that's about T Rex and Lotus. 
Nigga, that shit suck. That's a poetry now. Nah, nah, that shit suck. That nigga said that he cooked that. Look, look, nigga, I thought you were talking about Avion Crockett. I was like, wait a minute. I seen Avion. Oh. He said, like, crook dancing, because I know he be dancing and he be. This nigga does everything. He's fucking. <laughs> he his talent. I was like, oh, yeah, Avion. That nigga said they be roasting each other, but they be doing it in poetry. poetry. <laughs> <laughs> and cook dancing. I'm like, is that rap? Is that oh my goodness! Now I'm t- I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about battle rap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some culture of rap. Oh, that nigga said they be in the hood spots so and they be doing poetry, talking about each other. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that's what I thought that was poetry. I see some hard. I've been to a poor a poetry site before, and them niggas be going hard with the poetry shit. And they look, they look like rappers too. They act like rappers, but they they both be dumb. Oh. But they be and having on these beats, and they be snapping at the end like this. Yeah, that uh, they niggas. Yeah, because uh, you know, they be going back, dude. Educate. It be the way they be talking like this nigga could be a rapper. <laughs> this nigga. Do- yeah, when well, they be on the snap, the snap they be, on, be lit, yeah, they, be, they be on that T.I., right, right. See, yeah. without education, you will always suffer inflation, which is depreciation to God's creation. For this nation. <laughs> Brother, sister, you <laughs> let that mister down. <laughs> yeah, so I... I know Tony didn't see the, the what was that Lux and Arsenal? Nah, is that the most famous one? Lux huh. and Lux and Calico. No, nah, that's not Calico? the most famous one. The most famous one is Mook and Sirius Jones. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> There's a resurgence. The resurgence of it now was Lux and Calico. I thought it was Arsenal. It was it was Calico. It's Calico. I don't know what got the most. This is when he went, This is the black suit when he came out with the funeral shit. That's Calico. Okay. Yeah, but that's the most yeah. famous one on since it's been. Uh, a that, I don't know if it's the most famous one as far as views go, but it's the it was like the resurgence. Mm. That was the one that like kind of changed the trajectory to what's happening now. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. there, there might be ones with bigger views after that. Because you got to remember after that. Battle rappers start getting on wild and out. Mm-hmm. Charlie mm-hmm. Clips conceded. Hollow to but not how Hitman Holla. Yeah. From battle rap. Hey man, they just they they they're talking about. I just see the All Star game, right? Um, or the none of the shit. What do you be watching, bro? Western. Western. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Westerns in Chicago PD. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, nigga. I want to be on that team. <laughs> but, dude, I, I, watch, I don't watch basketball at all. So, what they was talking about, I said they had these blue jackets on. They had like the 25 most. Se- 75. 75. Uh, uh, yeah. Said, I don't watch basketball at all. And you was literally on the court shooting. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> you was no, on I the thought- court. I go to the, warm it up with the Pelicans. In the I go to the game. No question, Tony. Seventy-five greatest players of all time. They named the list. Okay, they without doing- looking at a list, nothing. How many of them do you think you can name? About twenty. Okay, but I might be. They might be wrong though. I, I, not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> I I, 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 I got. Door. But look, I seen Curry and, and uh, LeBron up there. They was up there. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah. They 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 broke some records, right? So yeah. Shit, Ste- Steph broke a record uh, yesterday. Yeah. For All Star for um. For the All Star game, he had sixteen threes yeah. in the All Star game. Hmm. He was going fucking nuts yesterday. It was- hey, twenty's not a bad number. I could, I, could, I know twenty top dope ass players under the history of basketball. I don't know. Let's hear. Like, him. Or they no, let's hear. Him. 
I'm because telling. Let's go. No, I gotta think about it, man. Fuck, I can't be. I ain't no thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Steph Curry, LeBron James, and uh, Michael Jordan. Okay, it's three. We got Let's seventeen start. more. Start. Okay. Uh, he gonna do them in groups. <laughs> I know. I gotta do them in teams. I gotta look at the team. Uh, Michael Jordan's boy, Pippen. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas. Who'd you say? Isaiah Thomas, nigga from the Pistons. Oh, uh, absolutely. Okay. The nigga and, got mad because of Detroit. <laughs> no. Nah. Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to the Spurs now. Duncan, Tim Duncan. Uh, Jason Kidd. I'm just naming. I got to do with the Spurs, but yeah. Okay. Everybody else dead. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, name 20 niggas from Western. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to name them, but some of them... You got, like, you got Butch, you got the Sundance Kid. <laughs> Wayne no, Newton. That's too young. <laughs> no, that's too, I can name them, but some of them going to be horses in you India. Got, uh, <laughs> 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 hey, he going to name them. Elba, you got... Uh, <laughs> they, they just did the movie with the Jay-Z movie. I saw that one. Nigga, uh, uh, who was in Posse? <laughs> Melvin Van Peoples. You got, uh, you got, you got Will Smith, Wild Wild West. Uh, no, no, the, the, you no, got, the, not, you got the third Back to the Future. That's not a Western. That's not a Western. Nah, hey, look, nigga. None of that Wild Wild West shit. None of that. <laughs> you got Aliens versus Cowboys. I remember that shit. <laughs> hey, BT, Tony and my grandfather is the two people I know the best. Who are really into Western. Mm. And these niggas, if you think, if you think comics are a certain way about being comic purists, Western niggas are the worst. <laughs> these niggas are He's, Western snobs. That nigga said the worst. No. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas, look, first off, first off, if it's a remake, get it the fuck out of here. It ain't gonna happen, nigga. I can't. Uh -uh. Don't you ever touch I what Wyatt Earp did. Nigga, I went to see Denzel and that Magnificent Seven. seven. Oh, oh nigga. No, 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 that was Samuel, wasn't it? That pissed me. Man, get the fuck out of here. What you mean, Samuel Jackson? It wasn't Samuel Jackson? Oh, no, I'm thinking the Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight was, but that wasn't on Western, but it was all right. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't a Western? See, that's what I'm saying, BT. If we see horses and sand, it's a Western. Yeah, if this is sepia tone, baby, it's a, it's a Western. Well, are you wearing a hunter top, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's 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 under the Western genre, <laughs> but it ain't it ain't a real Western. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying, BTA, hey, and and I hey, I just I just listen. When they hey, talk okay, about so Tony, do you, Tony, do you no, watch Wayne World? To be, to be real with it, I don't play with shit that's not black and white. If it's colored, it might can get away with it, kinda. But if it ain't black and white, I ain't fucking with it. That, so you don't watch? Do you watch West World? Oh, that nigga cut off. To, that nigga was dead serious about that shit. He cut the whole. Yeah, man, dead. you were, you offended him. <laughs> <laughs> you messing with my emotions, Smokey. <laughs> This is how I feel you every time I try world? to tell Lance. How about that? <laughs> this is how I feel every time I try to tell, tell Lance about a Marvel movie. He's like, what do you mean? You talking about Batman? I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, so I was telling, I was telling Lance, let's try to make this joke funny. I just I don't think it's possible. Mm. We didn't tell you about the hawk. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The hawk gets 11 times his actual size on these hawk shirt bus shoes calves but not his ass or his dick no none is that is that regular for a reason <laughs> is that for kids <laughs> the hawk smashed but not in the bedroom apparently he can't I, in real life the nigga can't oh <laughs> uh, no no know. hold on you talk you talking to a, a a dc comic book nigga go ahead no no nigga real. marvel that's what I said. Actually, you see, it's crazy. Keep this: the the Bruce Banner cannot have sex. 
The Hulk can fuck. Okay, but I'm saying, that's not my question. Why does Pants on uh, at all? Why is his pants? <laughs> if, he, mm. he did, if he busts through his shirt, why does he still have his pants on? <laughs> I mean, he busts through his shirt, his, his calves, everything, <laughs> up right to the middle of his thigh. And his and his waist, and they, they elastic, they, they, elastic they, jeans. They turned into tour shorts, but they wasn't elastic at the calf. They was only elastic at the thigh of the dick. Well, kids ain't stupid. Kids been asking that for years. Like, <laughs> how you gonna be regular from the thigh to the hip? Balls, but that I mean, the hook booty get strong and muscular. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to get into the details, but it was in. <laughs> Sound like you know more than we do. I know. I don't know about the front part, but the, the, the booty gets strong and muscular. It's in Thor Ragnarok. They showed it. It showed Hulk booty. I swear. <laughs> uh, everything I love in the third Thor movie, he get out the tub, out of the hut tub with two other alien bitches, and he walked to the bathtub, and then Thor go like this. He's like, man, I could have did without saying your booty. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember that. They didn't, I, they didn't do that because they didn't want him getting mad on purpose. That's why they didn't make him you know, his stuff. He, yeah. Oh, so he had, just so it can grow big like that, build big and green. <laughs> so if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's balls and big and green, like the hawk, you think he'd decide, go pick, pick a fight from purpose? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but then, I don't give a fuck. I'll fight my ass. <laughs> that's why the nigga so mad because he had no pussy in that law. That's why Bruce Banner keep getting mad because Bruce Banner got blue balls and that's why he turned green. <laughs> so that just uh, hey, who's your favorite Batman out of history of Batman's? Bruce Wayne. I don't know, man. I'm talking to BT, not your dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you can say Bruce Bruce. <laughs> Marcus Houston, <laughs> nigga. Ah, <laughs> uh, <sighs> Marcus Houston. Uh, and, and probably, uh, probably Keaton, man. I think Michael Keaton did it with no bells and no whistles, and gave two and amazing performances. Michael Keaton is the best. That's the Batman. Yeah. Nah. Even, What's name? Christian's great, but Christian had all this extra shit in his voice. <laughs> like, yeah. he, was, even, he, was he the Dark Knight Rises? Yeah, that's yeah. Dark Knight. That was the best one. Oh, yeah. Keaton, bro. I'm talking Jack Nicholson. I'm talking black and white, red and green. I'm talking. Uh, uh, no, hold, hold, I got a question. And excuse my ignorance, guys. Um, are you asking the best? Batman movie or the best performance as Batman? No, the character that played Batman. Who played yeah. the Batman? Is oh, that what you were referring to, Mike? When I you knew said... what they was talking about. I knew exactly okay. what they was talking about. But since that movie was better, that's the best one. The Dark Knight is the best Batman movie. Yeah. Because but there's what... a strong argument for that first Batman and or Batman Returns. Then after yeah. that, it get weird. Val Kilmer was terrible. Clooney was horrible. Um, Clooney, I could have did that before Clooney. Yeah, Clooney was Clooney was was horrible. But now at the nigga from Twilight, he about to come out now, right? Yeah, hey, they they say that this movie they say it's dumb violent though, like like they yeah, made it yeah. real. Thish, 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 like yeah. They made him violent as hell. So Batman's is a vampire. Yeah, the nigga play. See, yeah, Batman gonna be a vampire in this one. He's gonna bite somebody and not supposed to. Oh, that's gonna cause controversy. And yeah, man. Gonna... <laughs> before you know it, this nigga gonna be DJing. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Batcave. Because all my favorite vampires eventually DJ. Nigga, get off my block, bro. Stay off my trap, fam. <laughs> <laughs> one vampire DJ around these parts, my nigga. Now, you know, and blades. Right up there to BT said that. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you had doing you were doing that with COVID, nigga. That shit was funny. I was yeah. gonna keep doing it, nigga. I lost one of the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> All you had was the fame. You didn't even have I lost one. So now like, I don't want to be in that bitch like a snag of tooth werewolf, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I lost one of the tooth. 
I, like, I can't even do this for a while. Why you don't do Vincent Dracula Jones no more? Uh, long story, bitch. And I can't, here's the crazy part, Lance. I lost that bitch Short at story. like the top of November, nigga. So I can't get no more fangs till this October. <laughs> you gotta get on Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. I don't know if they got these. I don't know if they got these. These just these just like sixty dollars. Nigga, these are some fang fangs. Uh, you ain't had no outfit on. You ain't had a hair right. You ain't had a Herman, the, the Eddie Monster point. You ain't had, <laughs> had a beard. You can't be <laughs> Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> Man, fire blood sucking Teddy Pendergrass. That nigga, he was doing it. He used to do it with the with the ripped wife beater. Because he was going so hard. So it'd be like a yeah. wrestling shirt damn near. <laughs> but he'd be, be like the one coming across. But he was DJing, yelling at people. I'll no, pick the song. You pick the artist. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn, nigga. <laughs> He's trying to tell niggas, stop picking the song. i pick the song. <laughs> it ain't this mix, bro. This is not your mix. This is my mix. Yes, yes. Yeah, that. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Yo, I'm talking about, I've seen him. I've seen him in there. For hours, <laughs> full sweat. Yeah, that man. means you got no bitches. <laughs> <laughs> full up, going hard, full sweat. Like, no, this nigga's really DJing. The team never fell out. No, that's what I'm saying. See, I can't. You can't do it. You can't do it with them team, nigga. <laughs> Shit, don't look right. You can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, it was oh. a couple of times because that motherfucker used to be like secured on my tube, nigga. Where I be talking too fast and I'll bump that bitch. I'm like, oh shit, nigga. Because oh. <laughs> if you bump that bitch, that tooth coming with it, nigga. It's not... Oh, your real tooth? Hell yeah, nigga. Mm. That motherfucker's on your tooth. It's molded to my teeth. So there'd be some nights I get off, nigga. This tooth be loose. I'd be like, well, I gotta ease up there. I can't do this shit every oh. week. Oh, real tooth. I said like, I can't do this shit every week. We're gonna have to slow this up. I'm just gonna do Fridays, y'all. Because you can't even explain that. You, you come smile it. and you missing out the picture. <laughs> Somebody say, what happened to you? Man, I was DJing. <laughs> what they gotta do with your teeth? Man, I'm a vampire. Wait, what nigga? <laughs> I get off some time and these motherfuckers just be soft. Like the whole gum line be soft. I'll be like, all right. Yeah, that's bad. Everybody can... kept wondering, nigga. I kept going down. I used to do that bitch every night. Then I went to just Monday through Friday. Then I went to just Friday. <laughs> I said, I'm going to do once a month, nigga. Then I started doing just holidays. I was like, nigga, this shit is a lot, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to have this on my teeth like this for three, four hours at a time. All right, man. I'm about to roll out, man. I'm about to go. Nah, man, that ain't how we leave, man. You got to oh, start yeah. a conversation like you should have been to say some other shit. And then, we just, and then we just leave randomly. You can't just announce that you're leaving. Oh, don't do that? No, nah. you got... Uh, what you in New York for? You got some shows and shit? Yeah, I got a couple of clubs I'm doing, man. 